and we're going to talk about crimpers, okay? Um, a lot of people don't understand exactly what crimpers are, what they do, and they feel kind of lost with uh, um, if they are trying to put two section of pipe. Now, normally um, on an application, when you order a fitting, um, you'll have a male end, um, which is bigger, and you'll also have this crimped in. See how it's crimped like that? That's actually done by a machine. So um, it's actually very important what side the crimped ends go, goes on, um, which we can discuss further um, after I demonstrate what, how, to, how to get this crimped in. Um, as you can see, we just cut this piece of KDE pipe, and we cut it in two different ways. We cut it uh, with, uh, with it apart and with it together. So um, now that you got your raw piece of pipe, since we've got our duct mounted inside of our pipe, what we want to do is go ahead and crimp this. Now, the crimpers that you get, I use a Malco. I've had them for years. Um, these are what you get, okay? A lot of people do not know how to use this. There is a wrong way to use these, okay? Um, you'll notice that there's three blades on one side and there's two blades on the other. See the two blades? See the three blades, okay? What you want is you want the, the blades, some of them have five and three even, but you want the blades that have the more, more on the side, so in this case our three blade is actually going to go on the inside of the pipe. If I were to take this and I'm going to crimp this pipe and my three blades are on the outside, it's going to crimp it the wrong way. See that virtually does nothing. Take those three blades and you put them on the inside. Now you can see how it, it's, it's an exaggerated version that it's going to crimp that pipe inside. So take your three blades and just run this crimpers all the way around like this. And you want to go as, as deep as possible as, as these crimpers go. And we're just going to crimp all the way around. Now don't worry too much about trying to get over the seam. A lot of people will try and get that seam in there and it's really actually pretty difficult. But you can do it if you're an absolute perfectionist. Um, so I'm going to keep crimping this all the way around and now my pipe's crimped the correct way. Now just to prove my point, I'm going to run the, the crimpers the wrong way. I'm going to run it so my three blades are on the outside. I have a lot of guys do this that don't know what they're doing. Um, and you'll see the big difference. I'm going to run this all the way around. And it kind of crimps it, but it's not the correct way to use these, these tools. You don't want to use things incorrectly, of course, because then you're going to be fighting stuff. See, you got this kind of octagonal type weird shape going on. It's not nearly as small and as tight as what that is. Eventually what we want to look like if it's not machine cut we want to be look as close to this as possible So now that I got my my uh, pipe crimped I'm gonna go ahead and put on my next fitting whether it be a damper or elbow And we're just gonna slide that over right there There it is. That's how you use a pair of crimpers correctly um, And if you have any questions feel free to comment email or uh, contact me any way you see possible um, I'm no longer accepting smoke signals.